around today is my Friday whoop whoops and I do not have a womp. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I have a bunch of new favorites to show you this week. I did just post a haul. I'll link that down below. But I recently went to Sephora. I did some damage there. I've been testing out new products and stuff that, that I personally wanted and stuff I want to show on my channel. And I have no complaints. <laughs> This is the Marc Jacobs Light Filtering Contour Powder. This is in the second shade in Mirage. Bombskis. I'm super into contouring right now, but there's something about this powder that this was totally worth, I believe, $49. I'm telling you guys, when I was picking it up, I was like, oh, do I want it? I don't want it. Do I want it? <sighs> Ended up picking it up, and hallelujah, thank goodness. I did. This product is like no other. I'm currently wearing it right now. There's three different shades, but this is the shade that I really like, and I feel like it would also be great for spare skin. And not super, super light biscuit, but about like a light medium biscuit to a deeper biscuit. I love these shades. It's like a really nice yellow and a really cool toned brown. This is so great. I'm wearing it today. I have the, the yellow underneath my eye. I set my under eye though. Uh, I haven't just set my under eye with just this. I, I really like my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and then I really use this more on the outside of it instead of distinctly right underneath the eye because I don't want that cake, 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 cake. Even though I love to eat cake, 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 cake. I have the cool tone brown into my skin right now. This might look a little patchy because it's the end of the day. This is when I was able to film. Hence the hair. Mm. It's so creamy when you put in your brush. It does get a little powdery, I'm not gonna lie, but that's just because it's so buttery and silky. It's like once the brush hits it. And then when you blend it in, it makes it look like your own skin, like your skin is chiseled, naturally highlighted. It does not look cakey. I highly suggest you go check this product out because this is definitely worth $49. But that highlight though. Makeup Forever Sculptor in number two. Another just whoosh, product. I'm obsessed with this product. This is going to be great for spring and summer. This, they have two different shades, one for light biscuits, one for medium to deep biscuits. I absolutely love this one because of the highlighter. This is why I got it. Everybody was like, hey, it's a dupe for Whisper Guilt. That's why I got it. I follow Julia's Allure on Instagram. She has a whole blog post and everything like that. Um, I, I found out about this product because of her. She had swatches and everything on one of her blog posts. And it's so similar that I actually prefer the swatch of this better. Because I feel like the Whisper of Guilt is just a little bit too follow the yellow brick road. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just a little bit too gold. This is so beautiful on the cheeks. What I didn't like at first, I was just kind of like, oh, I kind of wish like the bronzer wasn't so warm and was a little bit more cool tone just because that's what I'm into right now. But after using it, if you're a fan of MAC Give Me Sun or anything like that, like a bronzer that's going to give you warm, this is going to be it. It's absolutely wonderful as well. I have no complaints. I love both shades. I, I really think Makeup Forever should stick this in a full pan because this would sell like cray. I would buy a backup even if it was just a permanent product. I'm crazy. If you've been on the hunt for Whisper Guilt and you're not really down to pay $200 for it on eBay, I've seen it on eBay for $200. I'm like, what? Get that. Everybody's been saying it's a dupe for those people who do have it. But like I said, I feel like it's more wearable and more complimentary to more skin tones. My face makeup Last two videos, I definitely wore the same exact makeup. This is what I've been using all week. I still have the same exact thing, just different lips. Everybody's been complimenting me. Thank you for the compliments. I love a fresh face. It feels really good. I'm not going to lie. One of those things that if you are if you have this habit, let me know down below. Do you ever feel naked, like literally naked without your wings? What? Literally naked. That's how I felt and I really just want to be comfortable in my own skin without having to wing out my eyeliner. I don't know. I just I, I just want to be down to kick it. <laughs> I mean, I'm still going to be wearing makeup, different makeup looks. Don't get it twisted because, ooh, I love my makeup. But I just wanted to say thank you so much. Mahalo. But one of the things that I love are lashes and I feel like just as long as I have some lashes and I... I don't mind wearing a fresh face. I don't feel like naked without my wing. So if you're someone who feels maybe a little bit naked, try just putting on some natural lashes. The ones I've been in love with, which I'm wearing right now. And lots of people were saying, I just did an eyebrow tutorial, I'll get to it. We're saying, did you get lash extensions? I'm like, 
Girl, those are strip lash. I used to have lash extensions like back in the day and it seriously, it looked like I was a burn victim and I lost all my lashes after having lash extensions for about six months. I had to wear strip lash for one full year in order for my lashes to look normal and grow. It was not cute. But then that's where my love for lashes developed. These are my current favorite lashes. This is the box. I ended up buying two pairs, but I'm super, super good with my lashes, so this will last me a really long time. Uh, I'm currently wearing the Levens right now. That's what I had in my video. Let's focus. Mm-hmm. And that's what I've been wearing just because they just give enough flair. You can put a little bit of mascara to kind of oomph it up, which I did today. Uh, this is an excellent lash. It almost looks like your own. My boyfriend the other day, it was so funny because he's so used to seeing me with so many different types of lashes. And this time he was kind of looking at me when we were eating dinner, you know, and I was eating and all of that. And then all of a sudden I call him looking at me. I'm like, may I help you? And he asked me, he's like, are those your lashes? <laughs> Yes, I bought them. Uh, but then I told him, I was like, no, they're just like a really natural lash. And he's like, wow, those look like super real and your lashes look really beautiful. I'm like, thank you. But I love these ones. I highly suggest these ones. They're equivalent to the Ardell Demi Wispies, except I will say that I was kind of comparing them in CVS. I was just like putting them side by side. And I feel like this is seriously like a little of a little smaller. I don't know what means, but you know what I mean. Right? I don't know. When I looked at our Dell Dummy Wispies, they just looked a, just a little bit longer. Oh, and for those who asked, um, I use the Dark Duo Glue, and when I put them in, I just feel like it just blends in with my lashes a little bit better, but you, you have to be very careful, because if you get that glue up there, it's not going to look so natural. Okay, for my brows. My brows. I have a full re a dupe and review and tutorial on two items that are dupe for Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil and also the Brow gel their tint oh my gosh these products have changed my brow game I feel like they're a little bit better uh, like I said mine are usually cousins sometimes third and I'm okay with that sometimes you get carried away when you use different products but these two products I'm here from NYX are seriously so good but go check that video out I do a full tutorial on my new updated brow routine I show you how I do it how I do it on more natural days how I do it more when I want to carve out the top I show you all the options. The brow pencil I love is Espresso. I think I said brunette, but then I edited it out because then I realized later on, but I don't think you heard that. But I use Espresso. Um, that's what I have on my brows today, along with the brunette gel tint over. It's great. It's It lasts. Okay, so lots of people were saying, is it long wearing and all that? It is, because I have oily skin like near my eyebrows and T-zone. Uh, just as long as it's just really nice and clean in that area and once you do your brows, it really lasted for me. I had no issue. Usually sometimes I'm just like, and then I'm like, oh, but I worked out at the gym and I went really, really hard because I know in one video, or no, I think I just put it on my Facebook, but I was saying the past two weeks my schedule has just been cray where I was not able to go to the gym as often as I would like. It was really disappointing for me. Um, I. I, it, it was, and it felt really weird for me. I'm going now back to a regular schedule. But the whole point was, is what I was saying, is that yesterday I had a hard freaking workout. I really pushed myself. I was sweating galore, and my brows were still there. I was just like, Shh, flink. What's on my lips? I'm telling you, and this is my final statement for liquid lipsticks. I'm obsessed with liquid lipsticks, but my favorite formula, no matter what, is Stila. The Stila liquid lipsticks just stay on my lips really well. Some people prefer the Kat Von D. I love those too. Those stand, those stay really well on my lips, but for some reason, something about the Stila, it doesn't dry out my lips whatsoever. I have Aria Bellissima, which I'm going to show you right now, which is on my lips right now. It's just kind of like faded out. I just tap it. This can go on way more pigmented. I absolutely love it. If it seems a little light for you, but I'm a brown biscuit. Um, I'm not super tan right now, but I am a medium skin tone right now. And it works out for me. Just stick a lip liner underneath if you want to. This is Bellissima like all by itself. And I just feel like my lips don't feel as dry. Also, my last favorite is Escada Turquoise Summer. Limited edition. Buy it now. I've been wearing this all week and people keep asking me, oh, what's your perfume? What's your perfume? And I'm just like, Turquoise Summer. Turquoise Summer. Turquoise Summer. Turquoise Summer. It's extremely fruity, fun. If you love fruity friends, fruity fruit. If you love fruity, 
kind of flower-ish uh, perfumes. Go check this out. It's so good. I just love it. Other perfumes that I would kind of say it's if you like Ralph, Ralph Lauren, this one right here, you will like it. Also, if you like from Bath and Body Works, this is the only other scent I think I've also mentioned in a favorite is A Beautiful Day. Because I feel like that body spray smells like a perfume to me. If you like A Beautiful Day, go try that out because it's just like, whoo, puts you in a good mood. Also, everybody has been saying, Lizzie, get Snapchat, get Snapchat, get Snapchat. I had Snapchat like a while ago. When did I have it? about a week ago a week ago i had snapchat and i said it on instagram and i had some girlfriends um one girl in particular brenda from new york i believe and hey girl hey uh they were like oh my gosh no don't don't get it you're gonna just see just how do i put this into words parts that aren't that i don't have you know what i mean i ended up getting snapchat and probably within the first five hours some guy sent me a picture of a <laughs> I don't know it was just kind of it turned me off from it so I was just like first of all like why are you showing me that and second of all I can just google that so as of right now I'm not gonna get snapchat and I really don't have time for snapchat so if you would like to connect with me uh, I'm on Instagram and on Twitter I've been lagging on the Twitter game I, I really love Instagram though so yeah so you can catch me there I that's all linked down below Hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and weekend whenever you're watching this. Uh, I truly love you guys. Thank you for supporting me and all your just sweet, kind words and all that stuff. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed and tag me anytime you want me to see something. I'm always on Instagram looking at your stuff. So many people got Candy Club and uh, yes, high five to you because I'm obsessed with it. Me and Glenn devoured that box and if you didn't know, Glenn did a video with me and I want to do his makeup for a video so thumbs this up if you would like me to do a, I do my boyfriend's makeup I think that would be pretty hilarious I really want to put like extensions and stuff like that on him but I don't have any wigs because he does it he doesn't have hair so what can I clip it on Elmer's glue might do the job so I hope you guys have a good weekend and I'll see you guys in the next one Mwah.